Good morning, this is Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. And wow, that was fast. I was just going to talk about Tesla. In fact, if you go back, scroll back to the very beginning of this video, and you'll see that Tesla uh, was at 760. But now all of a sudden, the price just shot in a blink of an eye down into like the 758s. Um, and on that note, when I say live, what do I mean? is this is a situation where I'm recording myself getting and seeing the information for the very first time. So if you want raw thoughts, raw emotions, raw reactions, you will get that with the video. What this is not is this is not a situation where everything has already been pre-recorded and now I'm coming back and talking about it or doing a voiceover or some sort of post commentary, nothing like that. So if you're out there looking for a nicely edited, nicely scripted video, this will not be a video for you. But if you want a nitty gritty look into what it's like to be a day trader, then this will definitely be a video for you. But as I was saying, uh, Tesla's getting really crazy here. Market opens up in less than one minute, but you know, when you scroll back at the very, very beginning of that video, that was showing right around 760, and then all of a sudden it just dropped down quite significantly. Uh, so pretty crazy, looking like 757, um, more so probably, yeah, 757, 757.50 is gonna be an important level. And actually I'm gonna get that alerted here into the chat room here, Tesla 757.50, interesting, flush point. on the open. So what you see right there is my private community. So first wanna see if that thing can get down below 757.50, and it did, but I missed it. But let's see if I can get a back test up to 757 to fill me. Okay, it got in there. So let's see if this thing wants to come back down again in at 757. Very, very volatile out of the opening gates here. Still think this thing wants to pull back here some. Key break definitely gonna be 758.50. So got down through there. Let's see if this thing can get back down below 758 though. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting a move somewhat. Can it get down to 756 is the question. Let's see what it wants to do here. Or maybe I got greedy in that. Okay, got out some at 757 at break even just because I'm not quite sure if I'm being greedy down there or not. And there it goes. So I'm glad I got out of those shares at 757 because now this is looking a little sketchy right now. So there we go, break even there and now it goes in my favor, which is sometimes how it goes. But I had to also admit that I didn't quite get the entry that I wanted. Had I gotten in a little bit later, then that would have been much easier to hold through. But there was just too much sketchiness going on, so I decided, you know what, why don't I just break even? So technically I'm down on the day because uh, you know there's commissions out there. Uh, but yeah, it just didn't quite work out the way I wanted to see it work out. Finally did go. I mean, I finally did get that break of the, the 756 mark and below, but uh, it just wasn't, like I said, the move that I was hoping for. And I do like the 755 mark.
Yeah, if it can break down through seven or FSLR though, that's looking interesting. Let's go hop over there. Yep, SLR fade potential over one. 105 minutes. So yes, I'm talking to myself, but I'm also typing into the community that you saw right there. Tesla low that 7.55. Oh wow, just missed that. All right, let's take a look around, see what else is out there. What's NIO up to? Just a whole lot of strength. Uh, that's right, I was wanting to watch Roku out of the opening gates, but I kind of lost track of that. Let's see how this one's going. Uh, okay, Roku, Roku at 23.50. Volume though, so eh, not a huge fan of that volume. Roku 3, 323.50, flush point, one minute. So that is an interesting area, 323.50. Even if it gets down to, yeah. For me, it's just a question of, do I like that volume or not? And I, I can mitigate against that by just going smaller size. But I'm gonna hold off for the time being. So, all right, uh, a relatively shaky start. And again, just uh, full disclosure, that's just how it goes. There are Tesla now going in my favor. Um, and But I, j I just got in a bit too soon. And then just seeing how it continued to not quite want to behave, decided, you know what, I'm not going to get greedy. I'm not going to keep wanting more. I'll just take the break even. And then all of a sudden, it started to go in my favor. But sometimes you just got to, or at least for me, walk away with either a small loss or a break even, or maybe even a small winner just to mitigate the risk of what happens if this thing actually does ultimately go against you. Uh, so that's what I did there, but uh, APA, what's going on here? Oh, wow, that was a, must've been a fat finger trade. ENPH. This one has just been a, a, a beast as of late. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause. All right, watching Baba here, 233.25 as a potential short. But it's got to show some weakness first. And as of right now, it's not showing weakness. So it might just be a never mind. But again, like I said at the beginning of these videos, these are live, so I, I, I have no idea. So yeah, at this point, I'm no longer interested in 233.25. Let's see, what is that low? 233.75. All right, well, never mind on that one, I guess. All right, watching 760 here on Tesla. And as of now, not sure it'll come back in a play or not. If anything, this thing looking like it might be getting ready to make another pullback, maybe test the bottom part of this range around two or 753. So as, oh wow, mRNA all of a sudden. Let's go check out that one. Alrighty then, mRNA, nice move. Gonna keep a close eye on that, but I'll go ahead and pause for now. Watching 236.50 here as a potential short. Wondering if this is truly a breakout here or if this is just a little blip over these previous highs. That's getting Long's excited, but that's gonna ultimately bring about disappointment. But to be fair, maybe this is a, a true breakout. As of right now, looking like maybe a true breakout. All right, so, well, maybe come down here a little bit. Well, this thing seems to just be grinding higher, so all right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause for now. 
All right, watching 752 as a potential area to go short here, but waiting for a break of 752. So I want to get that confirmation first. Okay, got filled there. On the back test, now it's a question of can we get some more continuation? I'd like to see this thing down to 750. See if it wants to get down there. A little bit of a bounce here. So what is that? Seven, yeah, 750, basically 15 is going to be that key level. Well, I'm going to have to sit through this a little bit. I was hoping I would have gotten a little bit more momentum on that break. So patience will be required apparently. So I will go ahead and pause for now. And if it starts to, uh, I, I suppose, either continue to go against me or eventually start to go back in my favor, I'll get the video rolling. Okay, it's starting to go in my favor here, kind of. Okay, I got out 50 there. Oh, give me a break, gave me eight. All right, I don't like that at all. That has me actually very worried. What kind of breakdown was that? Let's see if we can finally get some more momentum here on this one. Nope, I'm all out there. So 146 bucks, I'll take it. But yeah, notice the hammer candle that's forming. And look at that now going green. And what set me off was that, this right here. The, And it could still go down. I'm not saying that. But what has me feeling perfectly fine about that decision is it started to go down. And then, uh, where was it? Yeah, right there. Really? Eight out of 50 shares it gave me. That's where I knew things were starting to feel a little sketchy and where I just started to lose comfort. So that's why I hopped out of the remaining shares and then you saw me still hold on. So I still had those 42 shares left and I gave it a chance, I gave it a chance. I tried to see if it wanted to get down through the 749. It didn't, started to bounce back up and at that point thinking, you know what? I've given this thing plenty of time to actually break down. Uh, it did not want to break down. So that's why I just decided, you know what? I'm gonna take, take the win and move on. So. There we go, $146 on that trade. And it, you know, it was pretty a pretty rough trade, but it goes to show that you know trades don't have to be perfect and you can still make money on it. But let's see what else I can find. And there it goes, green from there. So I feel very, very good about that choice. And even right there, you can see still getting more green. So yeah, definitely, and look at that, up it goes. So that was a level two's order, you know, just film it. That was definitely the leading indicator there that something wasn't quite right from the bearish breakdown perspective. And look at it go, just more and more green. So uh, glad I, I, you know, listened to the, the gut instincts there and listened to you know what the market was telling me, uh, but wanted to keep you updated on that one. Uh, so went, totally play that one right, no doubt about it, because at this point, it, it, like I said, as you see, look at that, just continuing to go, crazy.
Crazy. And then there Tesla goes. Just as a, a note, I did change the two minute time frame here. Although I'm wondering, is this bounce really real or is this just gonna ultimately roll back over here? So I'm interested about that 754 mark, but we'll see what happens. All right, what I'm watching here, fake break of 760. Watch for break above and then move below for short. Oh, it's happening right now, wow. Let me get up the chart here. Did I just miss it? Actually the high is, what is that, 741.50. So same idea here is, and I might have missed it. It broke 760, and then as I was, just, <laughs> as I was typing up, I didn't think it was gonna happen that fast. Yep, and there it goes. May still come up, but that would have been a nice little scalp there for a fake break of 760. How low did it go after breaking above there? One as low as 758.65. So yeah, I just had this hard time believing that Tesla is gonna wanna keep on going up from here. And of course, as I type up what I was thinking, played out, missed it. All right, well, I will pause and still debating. It's whispering to me to want, not wanna go long. Took a little pull back here, took this little breath. But I have just, I mean, going long lately has really not been working, <laughs> working out for me. It's just, and there we go. Oh, very nice. Shoot. Well, congratulations. Eh, I don't even know if I got that in time to members, really. Maybe I did, but yeah, fake break. We also had another nice alert that could have. So this is how the room works, if you're wondering. So right here, Austin, another member, uh, 760 short, and his stop would have been over 761. So risking about a dollar, and now you can see right here, Risking a dollar to potentially make, how long has it gone so far? Uh, you know, basically, we'll, let's call it $2.50. So not bad right there, and this thing might not be over. So that was another idea, you know, and that's just how the room works. And then, of course, I threw out something different. So this is why it's not a, a, a room of sheep. It's not a room of puppets where somebody just blindly follows me, nothing like that. People give ideas, and then, you know, sometimes it can be the same stock. And as you see here, a couple different ideas. And then it's just up to members to decide how they want to play it. So, I mean, really Austin's alert was better than mine just because mine would have been a little trickier to get into had I typed it up a little faster. But like I said, I didn't think it was going to happen that much. But his was given before it even got up to 760. So you could have literally put a limit order out there in 760, let the price come up to you, fill you. And then, like I said, risk a, a dollar per share. And, uh, you know, in this situation, how low has it gone so far? Yeah, now you're it's, it's hit 7.57, so there's $3 right there compared to the $1 of risk, so not bad at all. And to be fair, I mean, this thing looks like it's got a legitimate chance of at least getting down to the 7.56 mark. Uh, but yeah, so Austin, shout out to you, good alert, and nice little example there of how the, how the trading community works. All right, watching Tesla here for potentially a short of 7.57. This tight little range here, and now it's bouncing back up there that fast, so never mind. Interested here for a potential break up through 65. Actually, I'm willing to pay up to 65. I wanna see it get up through 64.75 first though. So if 64.75 is broken, then my premise is I think this thing will wanna get up through 65. Watching closely. In at 6480. Let's see if this thing can finally get the break of 65. There is the break. 
and all out there for a nice $96. How did I only 300 shares? I forgot to change my position size back. Well, that just goes on the par with the day here. Um, I, yeah, I, if you've watched my past videos, usually I'm at 500 shares. Now, of course, Tesla is a, a super expensive stock, so that's why I'm at 200, but uh, I should have been at 500 for that one, was only at 300. Um, but anyways, that really just goes to show how today went. And, uh, you know, it, it's uh, on the positive note, what makes me feel a little bit better. That was alerted to members of the community, so they uh, they could have definitely played the, the scalp much better than I could have. So that makes me feel a little bit better. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up here, but I wanna do a, a very big lesson, so much so that I'm gonna put this out uh, on Saturday, the Weekend Withdrawal Series. Uh, but what is the secret to trading? And I'm gonna make that the title too, and I'm sure it'll get a bunch of like thumbs down, clickbaits. No, that's not the secret to trading, Clay. That's just, the, I, I, I need a magic pill. I, I need a magic strategy. I need some sort of like, I need an actual secret. Here's the actual secret to trading. How did I trade today? And, and that's fine. I, I don't blame you at all if you're like, Clay, you're not a very good trader. Or if Clay, maybe you've watched past videos and you're saying, Clay, yeah, that was pretty rough, man. I've seen you make in some videos like 500 bucks in a few minutes. Clay, I've seen you make like thousands of dollars in a few minutes. Clay, this, this was rough. Again, maybe this is your first video you've ever watched of mine. Clay, why am I even still watching this right now? You're, you're, you're not a very good trader. And today was, was not good at all. It was not smooth. I made some mistakes uh, in you know, the last one you saw right there was with the 300 shares instead of 500. And there was mistakes. There was, uh, I mean, you, you were with me, right? Not that good of a trader, but here's the secret to trading. When you can trade like I did today and still wipe away your losing days, my previous day, right there, down $135. So it was down 117 on the month, on, on the year so far. Again, I realize the markets are not open today, hence being out on a Saturday, the weekend withdrawal. But let's think about this. What were my results actually from today? So again, previous day was down $135. Look at today, up $229. And again, I'm not saying that at all in a bragging way. I'm not trying to sit here and be like, hey, look, look, I'm awesome, aren't I awesome? No, I'm trying to say in the exact opposite way. I traded very, blah, very, just, it wasn't impressive of a day at all. It, I wouldn't consider today smooth at all, but that's the secret. When you can trade, blah, when you can trade unimpressively, when you can trade like a non-superhero, but you can still wipe away your gains, or excuse me, wipe away your losses, excuse me, that's the secret. Why is that the secret? Because that implies that you are managing risk, that you are controlling risks in a valid, logical way. If you have to sit there and you're like, well, I need to now trade like a superhero in order to get my losses back. Wow, I'm gonna have to trade like an absolute rock star in order to get my losses back. That's not good. That is a flaw within your risk management part of your strategy. That, that's not what you want. When you can sit there and have days like you just witnessed, very unimpressive, very, dude, you're a terrible trader. When you can have people, and I'm sure there's gonna be people in the comment section that say, Clay, you're not good. Fair enough, I'll, I'll go with you. When you can have not good days and be a not good trader and still actually wipe away your losses, hey, that's the secret to trading because that means that risk management, risk control is under control. So if you only walk away with one thing from this video, that is the true secret to trading. How do you have to trade after a losing day? That's the question. If you're answering the question, oh wow, I gotta now trade like a rock star superhero. Okay, there's something wrong with your risk management. If you can sit there and be like, yeah, I, I, can, I can be a bad trader. I can be a very unimpressive trader and still actually not only wipe away my losses, but put myself back into the green. Hey, you know what? That, that's, that's the pathway that you wanna be on. So hopefully you enjoy that little lesson. And uh, as I tie this in here to a, a weekend withdrawal video. But before I go, a final few things. First off, if you enjoy these live trade videos, enjoy the lessons that I bake into them, then please hit that like button, leave a comment. These videos are not easy to make at all. I have to, again, because they are live. So I have to think for myself. I have to think about what I'm gonna do. I have to think about what I'm gonna say to you. I have to think about what I'm gonna alert in the chat room. I have to actually type those alerts to the chat room. I have to actually type my alerts, type my orders, which obviously I screwed up here with that position size on the last trade. So there's a lot going on. 
Is it possible? 100%. Is it easy? Absolutely not. So if you do enjoy these, if it is worth my time to continue to do this, then the easy, quick way to communicate that to me, hit that like button, leave a comment. It can just be a simple comment like a thumbs up emoji, a rainbow, butterfly, unicorn, a muscle flex. I don't care what kind of emoji it is. Hitting the like button, one simple emoji or comment goes a long way to letting me know that, yeah, Clay, please keep doing those these because it is worth your time. And then also check out the channel as a whole. Lots of other live trade videos and other segments on the channel. So hopefully you like what you, uh, what you see enough to uh, hit that subscribe button as I'd love to have you as a subscriber. But remember, the secret to trading, get out there and put yourselves in positions where you don't have to be a superhero in order to get your gains or in order to get your losses back. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.